Hello cinephiles of YouTube, it's Bill Robertson and tonight I'm going to talk about, for the first time, my Laserdisc collection. I just picked up a collection of about 200 Laserdiscs and a Panasonic player and I'm going to start going through all the movies. There's a bunch of them from the late 80s up to the mid 90s and uh, tonight I watched Assassins. It's a Richard Donner movie and it's written by the Wachowski sisters. Back then they were the Wachowski brothers, after that they were Wachowski siblings, now they're the Wachowski sisters. But uh, <clears throat> Richard Donner film, he did this shortly after doing Lethal Weapon 3. This was about the tail end of Sylvester Stallone's big star power. He slowed down after this. You didn't see him in a lot of stuff again until he did his new Rambo movie in the early mid-2000s. So he had kind of a slow 10 years. This was right when Antonio Banderas, however, was picking up. His career was really taking off. He had done Interview with a Vampire before this and uh, Desperado. It's an also an early Julianne Moore film. She plays a uh, computer hacker. This, this is an interesting movie because it's came out in 1995. It's kind of uh, right in the middle of uh, the dawn of the internet and cellular phone uh, age and the tail end of like the 80s action flick. It's neat to see some laptops and cell phones in this getting getting used but still has that that 80s action movie like very lethal weaponish uh, vibe. The movie didn't do very good. Uh, it's got a pretty low score. I think I think uh, Sylvester Stallone was nominated for a Razzie for this. The same year that this same year, I believe, Judge Dredd came out and he was nominated for a Razzie for both movies. And uh, I believe Brian Helgeland, who was who rewrote the Wachowski Brothers script, he was also nominated for a Razzie, I think. Not a terrible movie. It's good. It's two hours and like 15 minutes long. It's probably way too long. It's It's mostly interesting because of the the time period that it's set in, and uh, eh, I give it like one thumb. Didn't do well, barely grossed back its uh, budget, I had like a 50 million dollar budget, I think it only made 30 million in the US, but I think it tacked on a, another 50 overseas, so it just barely made back its budget. But it is a really cool curiosity for a 22 year old movie. Anyway, take care YouTube, assassins, from my Laserdisc collection and uh, I'll be doing some more. I'll see you next time.